A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In an unprecedented gathering, world leaders convened this week to address the escalating crisis of climate change, which is threatening the very fabric of life on our planet. With rising temperatures, extreme weather events, and the loss of biodiversity, the urgency for immediate action has never been clearer. The summit, held in a virtual format due to ongoing global health concerns, brought together representatives from over 100 countries, including heads of state, climate scientists, and environmental activists. The opening remarks were delivered by the United Nations Secretary General, who emphasized the critical need for collective action. He stated, We are at a defining moment in history. The science is clear, and the time for debate has passed. We must act now to secure a sustainable future for generations to come. Throughout the summit, various leaders presented their country's strategies and commitments to reducing carbon emissions, transitioning to renewable energy sources, and protecting natural habitats. Notably, the Prime Minister of Canada announced a bold plan to achieve net zero emissions by 2050, while the President of Brazil highlighted efforts to combat deforestation in the Amazon rainforest, a crucial carbon sink. However, the discussions were not without tension. Several developing nations voiced their concerns over the lack of financial support from wealthier countries to help them implement green technologies and adapt to the impacts of climate change. The Prime Minister of India called for a fair and equitable approach, stating, we cannot fight this battle alone. The developed nations must step up and provide the necessary resources and technology to help us thrive in a sustainable manner. In response, the leaders of the G7 countries pledged to increase their financial commitments to climate initiatives, agreeing to mobilize $100 billion annually to support developing nations. This announcement was met with cautious optimism, as many participants noted that concrete actions must follow these pledges to make a real difference. The summit also featured a series of panel discussions led by climate experts, who shared the latest research on the impacts of climate change and the potential solutions available. A prominent climate scientist warned that if global temperatures continue to rise at the current rate, we could see catastrophic consequences by 2030, including widespread food shortages and increased natural disasters. As the summit progressed, youth activists took the stage to demand more aggressive action from their leaders. Inspired by the global climate strikes initiated by Greta Thunberg, these young voices called for a future where sustainability is prioritized over economic growth. One activist passionately stated, We are the future, and we will not stand by while our planet is being destroyed. We demand accountability and immediate action. The summit concluded with a renewed commitment to the Paris Agreement, with leaders agreeing to enhance their national climate plans ahead of the next conference scheduled for next year. The hope is that this gathering will serve as a catalyst for real change, inspiring nations to take bold steps towards a greener and more sustainable world. As the world watches closely, the pressure is on for these leaders to deliver on their promises and ensure a livable planet for future generations. The time for action is now, and the stakes could not be higher. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.